Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. What's in a name? Well, we should have that answer before Thanksgiving as a AAA franchise in the Lehigh Valley narrows down their choices. As part of their Name the Team contest launched two weeks ago, thousands of fans have submitted their favorite nicknames, and today, with the help of the Philly Fanatic, they were unveiled. Angelo DiCarlo has the details. A gear hosting today's morning call Name the Team contest press conference. From 3,500 names, we are now down to eight for the Lehigh Valley. Well, here are the finalists. The Crushers, the Gobblers, the Iron Pigs, the Keystones, the Fantastics, the Phillies, the Vulcans, and the Woodchucks. I think there's some that make me laugh right off the bat, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, I think we have a good representation of things that represent the Lehigh Valley from I, I think the Iron Pigs with the, the steel tie-in and the pig iron to the Balkans, which is the, uh, the, the god of forging and, and metalworks, and to the, the Gobblers, which is the, the local turkey farms tie into that. Of course, some tie-ins with the Phillies, with the name Phillies itself and, and the Fantastics. I think we're pretty happy with we have a good cross-section to give people a nice choice, get some fun and exciting names that a lot of people will be excited about. Some of the names are traditional, like the Keystones, which received the biggest applause by those in attendance, and the Phillies, which of course was the favorite of the Philly fanatic. Some are different and a little out there, like the Gobblers, a play on the area's turkey farms, which was actually suggested on Sports Scene by team president Chuck Domino two weeks ago. We just think Gobblers is a, a fun time, you know, fun name. Minor league baseball is fun, and I think Gobblers is kind of a fun name, and and uh, it's cer certainly I think worthy of final eight. Keystones, I think, got the biggest uh, applause, and I, and I because it's it's a safe. Everybody related to it immediately. Yes, with the Keystone State, they didn't have to think about it. They didn't have to put two and two together to try to uh, understand why we selected that name. I don't expect Keystones to, to get the most votes, I really don't. Then there's the Iron Pigs, which really sounds out there, but makes more sense when it's explained. And what are the odds the man that suggested it, an Aguirre employee, was in attendance? I knew steel was a big part of the Valley's history, so I looked up steel to read about it, and it's made from pig iron. So right away I thought, oh, I can see a pig holding a, an I-beam as a baseball bat. I thought that'd be a great mascot and that's where the name came from. I like the ones that are a little bit more risky and, and not as safe as, I don't, like, I don't like the safe ones as much, the conservative one as, as much. There are two places to cast your vote over the next couple weeks, at the Morning Call website or at the Lehigh Valley AAA website. Your vote will carry a lot of weight, but the final decision will be made by team management. Angel DiCarlo, Two Sports.